Hi all, welcome. Cynthia here from MB Pretty Papers up on the Crafty Maven Getaway today with the Free Flow Wednesday. So what I did before I started the camera was I drew some triangles. I wasn't too sure if I was going to be able to make the pattern that I was thinking about. So I just got some scrap paper and um, drew my design and I've cut them out and I'm going to use those triangles as a template. So you can see I have that absolute gorgeous paper So from the Coco Vanilla Studios Bohemian Dream Collection and that background paper there is called Kaleidoscope and I'm just going through to see which paper I want to cut out my triangles with and I've narrowed it down to these two but I decided to go with the light blue paper um, which was called Gypsy Heart or Gypsy Hearts. Can't quite remember which one. And I'm going to use that to do my triangles. So here I am just tracing around my templates and cutting them all out. I absolutely love this collection. Oh, the colours in it just are just stunning. I mean, just look at that paper. Is that not just beautiful? Um, Coco Vanilla Studio is my favourite designers. I, was, um, I just love them. In fact, I love them that much that I have named my car Coco after them. So, but anyway, moving on. I've managed to cut out the triangles and I've just laid them back down in the pattern that I'm thinking about. So if you saw the inspiration piece right at the beginning there were a series of triangles so that's where I've pulled that idea from and also there's the um, the same colors in the inspiration piece there's a there's a bluey light blue and a dark blue color and a pinky purple color so this um, kaleidoscope paper just fits in so well Decided that I'm going to stitch around the edge of the triangles. So I've just pulled my sewing machine out and you see me just do a couple here and then I stop the recording because you really can't see what's happening. All done. Trimming off the loose ends. I just used a black thread on those and now I'm laying it down now if you wonder why I've turned them over you may see that I had on my template and also on the pieces that I've cut out I've numbered them so I know which order that they went in so liken that and now I'm going to start sticking them down I decided that I'm going to pop some of the triangles up on foam so that's just what I'm doing here, cutting out some foam. And I pop four up in total. I like the way that looks. Bring this other back pa paper back in because I really like the, the look of that paper and sort of a bit of a contrast against the back bright colours and the light blue. Couldn't decide what I was going to use the rest of the paper for. That will decide where I'm going to cut it out. If I, I'll put it in the middle if I think I'm going to use it as a mounting piece of paper or I'll cut it from the edge if I think I'm going to use it for backing um, photos or just layering pieces. Uh, couldn't decide so I decided to just edge me bets and go both ways so I could still cut out the middle and get some decent use out of it if I decide to use it to mount the whole layout or if I only use it for layering pieces and bits and pieces I've still got a big enough squares left to be able to make use of it. Here we go I start as I said sticking all these down I use just double-sided tape on 
the ones that don't have foam on it and then the ones that have foam I've glued down with hot glue, my trusty hot glue gun. I'm making them all look nice and even. Put the photo back in. Decide that I need to put a little bit of pop top in the middle there. And I'm liking the way this is coming together. I just like the way the arrows all and the um, design of that background paper all lead your eye into the middle of the page and directly to the photo. So I've pulled out this specialties paper from Seven, Seven's paper. Um, Amelia, I think it was called. And just using that to help, um, uh, sorry, to back the paper on as well. Concentrate girl, I, I lost my concentration there for a minute. And sticking that down. And now I pull out the embellishments that come in the kit. So all this the papers and all the ephemera and everything that I'm using is from my Kitaholic kit for the month of October. That's what we're in, aren't we? October, yes. So I'm pulling those out. And then once I pull them out, I realise I had a little bit of, um, oh, what's that stuff on the side there called? Is that called tool or something like that? Um, I thought, oh, I probably could have used that to back behind the back of the photo instead of the gold specialty paper. But that's okay, I really like the gold. And you don't see off camera and after I've taken the photos, I go in and decide to sprinkle a little bit of gold Heidi shine on the, on the final page as well. Just to bring that gold through. So I received the stamp from this collection in my kit as well and I've just stamped up the top there, that little bird, and now I've decided that I should do a stamp down this bottom corner as well. Didn't work quite as well. In hindsight, what I should have done was mask off the bottom of the photo, but instead I tried to curl it up so I can get the stamped image to go up underneath a little bit but that's okay hindsight's a wonderful thing I cover half of it up and leave just a little bit showing in the end because as I said it didn't stamp the greatest it's because this one was layered and obviously some of it doesn't have a backing so it didn't stamp quite well and you'll see how I make the paper come up to the stamp in a minute this is real technical stuff here there we go you get the scissors and you push the paper up to the stamp and that's what you do isn't it done it's not too bad the writing in the middle is probably a little bit blurry so that's what I cover up in and I just leave the some of the floral bit around the edge so that top pile of goodies there are a part of the cut apart sheet. Well, no, um, no longer the cut apart sheet. They already come pre-cut for us. So it's a part of the printables that we receive. And then the bottom pile is obviously from the um, Beh Bohemian Dream collection itself end up mixing them all up I don't keep them separate going through and I decide that I want to use more of the darker pieces so I do have a couple of um, lighter pink flowers out but I'm actually looking for the dark purples and the deep blues that's what I'm trying to use on this layout So I'll go through, pull out anything that I think I might use and put them in a little pile. Occasionally I see something like this one here that I'm not too sure whether I'll use so I see whether it will fit on the page. If I think it does, I'll just leave it. 
doing the usual that I generally do a couple of clusters one at the top one at the bottom um, seems to be my go-to design so I've come up with the pieces that I want to use and now I'll just start spreading them around and seeing whether I can get a design that looks what I'm looking for so the pieces in this collection and the colors are just gorgeous I'm so happy to see a little bit of purple creep into some of the kits and this is just a gorgeous purple and the blue is just beautiful the whole thing's just stunning so why I fiddle around getting all that the way I like it how's everyone been have any of you purchased this collection I only got what come in my kit um, I've been trying to be very good this year I've said that I'm not purchasing anything other than what comes in the kit the only other things that I purchase are mixed media goods so I only ever get the main kit so it's you know, generally eight papers and a little bit of ephemera and bits and pieces and that's all I use after that if I want to do more I have to use what's from my stash which is absolutely killing me for this collection because I love it so much um, but I have to control myself I can only use so much so I've got it all looking the way that I like and now I'm going back in and going to glue it all down so as always use my trusty hot glue gun to do that and it's really coming to the end of the layout once I have this down I don't do too much more to the design I pretty much leave it like that I come back in and stitch around the edge with the same black thread as I did on the triangles and that just helps frame the page a little bit can't really see what happens here just the camera angle but you get the idea of what is happening I just decided to do one strap I was initially thinking of doing sort of a real messy um, stitch around the edge but decided to keep it just the one straight same as um, same as what I did around the triangles once I get this bit stuck down I turn it back over write my journaling and I just talk about um, uh, happiness is having this man wonderful man in my life so very simple plain journaling and that's it I hope you enjoyed this process video please give me a thumbs up and a comment if you did if you haven't already subscribed to the crafty maven getaway channel please do lots of inspirational vid videos going up on a regular basis and also hop on over to my channel and be pretty papers and have a look see what's happening over there catch you on the next video talk to you then bye